Hey, what's up everybody? David here, your Android junkie, your Android spin.com, bringing you app of the weekend. Welcome to Glovebox. This we're going to be taking a look at Glovebox. This has kind of been all the rage a little bit in the past couple weeks since it's uh, an Ubuntu style app drawer, app launcher. It's pretty cool. Let's go take a look at here. When you first open it up, it does welcome you very nicely. And then let's see what we got here. We got the uh, on and off button, which is cool. Obviously, you want it on. Then you got the home, which is just the previous page. Then we got bar list. So let's take a look at that. I already got pre-selected apps. Um, I'm only rocking the free version. Uh, I didn't purchase the premium version because I don't know if I'm going to use this as a daily driver quite yet. So with the uh, free version, you can only get, um, I said daily driver like it's a romp. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Anyways, you can only choose eight apps with the free version. And uh, you, you can also add widgets too. But since I don't have the premium version, can't quite do it. So going to have to deal with those. Let's go back. Configurations. As you can see right here, this is where you'll be touching on your screen to access the app drawer. Um, it gives you, it gives you uh, an opportunity to unlock the premium version right here. You can uh, adjust the height if you want. If you want it in the middle of your screen a little more, you can adjust the size if you want more of your screen covered by it. You can have it vibrate to touch so you'll know exactly where to touch. Oh, no. I'm getting a little dirty. Sorry. Um, Sensitivity level, you know, you can adjust that too. Like if it's not working, you can increase it. So then it like, you know, you can do a lot better. The only thing that sucks is sometimes it can interfere with any other apps you have that, that, that are in the area that you need to touch. So you got to be careful with that. Um, and of course you can, the transparency level and all that stuff. And you can, if you want it on the right side, you can have it on the right side. But I like it on the left, even though I'm not left-handed. And then the density, and then of course, if you want the notification bar to have notifications for this, which I don't see why you'd want that. So, anyway, let's go back. Then we got themes. Uh, they already come with uh, some themes, like Ubuntu theme. We got a light theme. We got a dark theme. And then an LBP theme, which I'm not sure what LBP means. I'm stupid, I guess. Uh, I would say choose dark theme. Why not? I like it dark. What? Okay, I hit apply. Hopefully that did it. All right, and then that's pretty much it. So let's take a look. Let's go to my home screen, get rid of that. And there we go. And it's pretty cool, pretty smooth. I mean, it's totally Ubuntu style. If you're looking to make your phone more Ubuntu style since, you know, it's only on the Nexus products, I would highly, highly suggest getting this. And it opens up lickety split. So, browser. And even when you're in an app, you can still access it, which is kind of cool. You know, Oscars, yay, they're on tonight. So, not too bad, not too bad at all. I mean, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be using it um, as, you know, a daily app, but it is not too bad. I like it. So, uh, yes, there's a free and a premium version down in the Play Store. Well, all right, guys, hit that like, thumbs up button if you like this video. Make sure you tell us if you downloaded the app and how much you like it down below in the balls area. Subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already for constant Android content and apps and reviews and all that fun stuff. Well, I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been App of the Week. Andy says bye-bye.